Yes, yeah. there is a fight, and it's brewing among Republicans over President-elect Trump's plan to cut taxes. Watch this. I think this level of national debt is dangerous and unacceptable. My preference on tax reform is that it be revenue neutral uh, to the government. Revenue neutral, revenue neutral. Got to remember that. With us now, Wisconsin Republican Congressman Sean Duffy. When you say revenue neutral, that looks to me like pushback from the establishment Republicans who are going after Mr. Trump's tax cutting plan. What say you? Well, I don't know that it's um, necessarily pushback, but this is um, the, the House and the Senate that's going to exert itself to say, listen, we're going to be part of this conversation on tax reform. And as you know, Stuart, we in the House, uh, we've been advocating for tax reform for a very long time. It's just uh, President Obama wouldn't join us in that effort. Yeah, uh, so but as we look, look at, this is going to you know, slow it forward, down, Sean. There's no way around it. If you want to be revenue neutral, you've got to cut out all kinds of deductions and maybe even reduce the tax cut and tax cutting rates. It certainly slows it down, doesn't it? Well, no, first of all, I think we have to look at this not statically, but we have to look at it dynamically. What kind of growth do we get from tax reform? And you know this very well. I mean, under, uh, under Barack Obama, we've seen, you know, one and at best 2% growth with all the regulatory reform that's going to come from, uh, from the Trump administration in conjunction with tax reform. Um, the growth that we're going to get that's going to bring more money into the federal coffers, um, I think, has to be analyzed as we reduce yeah. um, our tax code. And no so question. I think but, but you know what's happening here. I mean, there are so many people who are saying it's the establishment Republicans dragging their feet all over again. We were promised a tax cut. We voted for Trump. We want a tax cut. And now they're holding it up because it's got to be revenue neutral. You know, that's what they're saying, Sean. Mm -hmm. But, 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 but Stuart, you're, you're reading too much into that. I mean, we're, we are $20 trillion in debt. Um, we, we have to recognize that. Uh, so what we have to do is uh, implement policies that are going to grow the economy and bring more revenue into the federal coffers. Um, and tax reform is going to do that for us. I don't think uh, Mitch McConnell is saying anything other than that. And I don't think you would advocate that we want to go from $600 billion uh, uh, deficits to tr uh, uh, yeah, deficits to, to, to trillion uh, no, dollars. No, I wouldn't say that. Uh, no, deficits. I wouldn't. I, what, uh, what I want is big tax cuts for corporations and individuals, backdated to January the first, so you get the maximum input of money into our economy as soon as possible, and then you'll get the growth, which eventually will bring in more money to the treasury. But if you're the establishment is saying, hold on a minute, we're not quite sure about this. You got a problem in the Republican Party. No, 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 Stuart. Everyone is on the same page as you. We understand that tax reform will bring in more revenue to the federal coffers, um, and and so I don't think I don't think that this has uh, any different position than what Mitch McConnell was talking about. We are going to do tax reform. We understand that tax reform is going to bring more revenue into the federal coffers. And again, when you, store, uh, when you score this dynamically, you're able to analyze that and look at the growth that's going to come. I agree with you. When we have these inversions where American companies are, are setting up their headquarters overseas, we're losing American revenue. Okay. Let's I'm, reduce the tax rate. Let's make America more competitive again. Oh, I'm with, yes, I'm please. With you and I think I'm, I'm just trying to articulate what many um, non-establishment Republicans are saying. Sean, you've got to get out there, and but, you've got to get me a tax break that's retroactive to January the 1st. You do that, and I'm a happy camper, believe me. And I'm sorry I'm out of time. We want to make you, know you a happy camper, Stuart. Mm -hmm. uh, but I, I, you can't read too much into Mitch, okay. what Mitch McConnell is saying, because you have to look at those of us in the okay. House and the Senate um, are going to be on the same page as Donald Trump on, on tax reform. Oh, um, glad to and hear we're, and, we're, and we're going to get it done. I think okay. what, what uh, Mitch McConnell is doing is giving slight pushback to Mr. Trump to go, hey, we're going to have a say in this. We want to make sure we're looking at the growth side, but we don't want to uh, balloon our deficits. And I, you and I analyze I'm, this the same way. I've got to the go. The revenue comes in, got to go. Uh, which is going to offset the tax cuts. All right, Sean, we got it in <laughs> eventually. Thanks very much indeed, Sean Duffy. We'll be back.